All right, we're gonna look at this new desktop environment called Razer QT, and heard about this like last year when it was like um, 0 0.1 or something. But right now it's like, what is this here? 0 0.4.1. All right, so it's been a while, and it's a desktop environment based on QT, and QT is like their widgets that they use to write their programs or whatever. Uh, if you use GNOME, they use GTK. If you use XFCE, it's GTK. And even LXE is GTK. But if you're using uh, this one, it uses QT. And KDE uses QT. And some other um, mobile devices, like what was that? I think Migo or whatever, they use QT. So I, I pretty much like QT better than um, GTK. Mainly because it's uh, it works well with other, um, uh, what was that? Uh, like other operating systems like Windows and stuff like that and it also works well with uh, GTK based uh, desktop environments right so that's why I like that anyways what, what does this have at the moment well they do have you know their standard menu you can go through here uh, they do have their um, configuration center thing here right and they have one for sessions uh, the one that they have in here was this here the Windows Manager by default Razer QT doesn't have their own Windows Manager at the moment they haven't made one up or something but you can actually use your existing one so if you have like right now I have Q was that KWIN, Metastasy, Openbox, uh, XWM here for XFCE stuff but you choose one that you know you have on your system and the best one to use it with is Openbox that's what they recommend all right I'm not sure why that is because you know KWIN I think is written in QT also so I thought that would have been you know made more sense but no it's actually open box is what they recommend alright uh, other stuff in here is just basic stuff and here is changing your icon themes and stuff like that and this one is your mouse cursor themes alright and this one what is this yeah, it's just your wallpapers, menu, and this one they have different desktop types. So right now they're using the Razer desktop. Uh, this one uses your native uh, Windows Manager, I believe. Yeah, your open box one. Okay. Uh, so this one, if you never used KDE before, KDE has like different uh, desktop types. Like they have like folder view, they have search and launch, they have what is a grid desktop right a lot of these different desktop types and so I think that's what they're going with uh, kinda the same thing as KDE right so that's what they have there uh, that's pretty much it for those applications they do have plugins so if you right click on the panel here you have add plugins and say for example we add in show desktop right and now we have the show desktop here and you can you know do that uh, delete it, just right click on here and go delete and there you go. Uh, so I was saying about the uh, Razer desktop, right now we're using a Razer desktop so you can't really move this giant um, clock here. I'm not sure why they have a giant clock, it reminds me of Windows Vista and I don't like that, right? But you can't really move it, right, because it's locked it. So you want to do is right click and then go to edit desktop here and this will unlock it and you can move this around, right, and then uh, uncheck this again and it will be locked in. Now you can't move this. So, kind of like KDE where they have, you know, lock widgets and stuff like that. Uh, let's go ahead and edit again. You can add other ones. If you right click on here and you go add uh, new desktop widgets. They do have like this Hello World one, but it's kind of crap, so don't do that. So these two ones here, they have, uh, this one is the icon view widget. And if you ever use fences or KDE they have like I think their folder view that you can, that you can do so I'm giving you an example you double click on here you want to choose a folder that you want to use so let's say for example we use our picture folder here choose that and let's say we move this up a little bit here and then uh, un you know lock it here now and there you go you have your what is that uh, your icons of that folder and you can open it just click on it and you open it with either your uh, file manager or your picture view or whatever it is. All right. That's pretty much all they got for 
right now. It is buggy, but it's not like super buggy that you cannot use it, right? But would I recommend you use it on a daily basis? Probably not, um, but it is usable, okay? When I was using it, um, it was about 200 megs at, at most, you know, with no applications on, just uh, the desktop itself. Uh, obviously I have my screencast on, on so it doesn't make sense to do right now but yeah uh, this one is actually very interesting to me because it's probably a true alternative to KDE because let's say you don't like KDE you would have to use like a GTK base and some people don't like to use that they, you know they want to use their QT um, stuff with it and so that, that's why this one is more interesting to me than um, like a, a project like Mate I know there's a lot of people like Mate or whatever, but even if Mate dies, it's not going to affect me that much because you have, you know, an alternative to GNOME, right? You have XFC, you have LXD, you can use that, and it's pretty much uh, the same stuff. But if you don't have KDE, there's really nothing else uh, within that same family with QT and stuff like that that you can use besides like KDE Trinity which is KD 3.5 which doesn't make sense so I don't think anyone would use that um, so yeah I like I would really want to, this one to succeed more than mate uh, right now because this one is more interesting to me and um, yeah that's pretty much it if you want to try it out I'll probably post some links in the description and as far as application goes um, there's already a lot of QT applications like Clementine the music player there's QTorrent, so you can always use existing ones. There's actually quite a few of them already existing, like a, a file manager and everything. So it's, um, it's great timing that they're doing this now because you know the applications already exist, so they don't have to like write those other ones too. Um, anyways, that's a long rant here, but if you want to check it out, go check it out. Right, very interesting stuff here.